Blue Zoo is an animation studio and we specialise in doing characterful, fun animation. We very much push on the technical front because we never want to stay complacent and stand still. There's a scheme at Blue Zoo, which is the uh, Blue Zoo Shorts program. We try and produce short films that kind of push us creatively, kind of venture into new technology and things like that. So we were seeing all the amazing things game engines are doing and we really wanted to see if we could use that in our studio. So Ada came around because we were doing a new summer brief to tell a true story and to tell it with Unreal Engine. And the only creative limitation was it cannot look like a computer game. The style we finally went with was this lovely kind of graphite -y kind of painterly style. And that really set the benchmark of what we wanted to achieve. We're like, great, this is what we're going for. Now, we don't even know how we'd do this in our normal rendering engine, let alone in Unreal. So we had this whole like, right, what, where do we take it from there? And it was fascinating seeing our artists try and achieve that, having never really used Unreal before. And because it's real time, that meant learning was real time. They didn't have to spend ages kind of twiddling a dial, then waiting a few minutes to see what that looked like, which meant it was exponentially faster than the traditional pipeline. The main reason we used Unreal was because it was so much more approachable for our artists. Trying out Unreal, I found how intuitive it was, particularly with like the blueprints and things like that. We quickly realised that we had to kind of scrap our existing pipeline and start from scratch and see it much more like everyone sitting around a table with the project in the middle and everyone could kind of jump in and change things at the same time without having to pass this far around teams. And that made it a game-changing new way of actually creating an animation studio from scratch in the 21st century. We decided everything would be done in camera, so you're always looking at the final picture. So that meant we had to develop a few new ways of working, such as ways to put vignettes around the camera and ultimately do masks in real time, things you'd normally rely on a compositing tool to do. One of the tools that we developed was what we called a smudge tool. It was something that the lighters could use on a shot-by-shot -shot basis to paint a mask directly in the engine. And that would basically soften the edges and blur the pencil line. To not have compositing is just fantastic. <laughs> I love compositors. <laughs> They're great. But to be able to do that at real time and to be able to see it, it just makes it a lot more fun, <laughs> to be honest. We changed the texture on Ada uh, 24 hours before we sent the teaser. That would have been unthinkable in a traditional pipeline because you'd have no idea if it would go through the render farm and comp in time. And we had it within an hour of changing the texture. So it was liberating and that freedom of being able to experiment those last minute changes in a way that would be completely unthinkable in the traditional animation pipeline. It was the most relaxed delivery day I've ever had. One of the really nice things about using Unreal Engine is the fact that it brings the fun back to animation because there's nothing more painful than having to wait for renders and looking for hourglasses spinning. So we're super excited about the future and I think real time and Unreal will be at the core of that.